What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Fresh Tofu and today I am back at it again with some more Luna. This time I'm gonna be checking out the satellite dance practice. So this video dropped earlier in the week and you know, when I was checking my phone in the morning, I saw it like front and center on my recommended feed and I was all about that life. Unfortunately, y'all know my Monday through Friday schedule is crazy hectic. So, you know, I couldn't, you know, obviously react to it, check it out, any of that stuff, any Luna stuff I've been sitting on, which has been insane. Like the struggle has been so real. Because, you know, obviously I would want to check out Satellite. Um, I've been sitting on Jinsel. I've been sitting on Chori. Um, and then Colors dropped last night. But, yeah, just my schedule, Monday through Friday, it sucks. It seriously sucks. Like, adulting is no fun. Like, I miss I miss my days when I was a, a kid and when I was a student and, you know, just dealing with the simple stuff. But anyway, it is Saturday morning. And uh, you're looking at four Luna reactions this weekend. I'm freaking excited. We got... You know, Satellite, which I'm about to check out. We got uh, Jin Soul Solo MV, uh, Chori Solo MV, and uh, the Colors Dance Practice. Um, I know I checked out Colors, um, the stage performance on Simply K-Pop last weekend, um, but I'm all about the dance practice. I'm all about that uh, that fixed camera where I can just see everything. Because y you know how music shows go. They zoom in, there's all sorts of the crazy stuff, which it's cool a lot of times, but I mean, as a dancer, if I'm wanting to check out the choreography, I I'm wanting to see everything from a distance. So, uh, yeah, those four videos are going to be uh, posted by the end of the weekend. Um, I'll actually link all of them in the description down below if you guys are interested. But, yeah, so, Satellite, um, you guys have been uh, pinging me pretty hard about this one. Um, you know, a lot of you guys prefer it over Colors, and I love Colors. Uh, it wasn't as, you know, dynamic as Butterfly, but it was still a great piece of choreo. Um, but a lot of you guys are like, no, this, it's all about, it is all about Satellite, so... Now, without further ado, I guess let's get into this thing. Man, I will never get tired of their logo, like how the shapes spell out Luna. <laughs> Miss E. <Eve. laughs> Talking about me, I'm thinking about you all day, every day, girl. Oh, nice. Very beautiful picture right there. These girls are so good at making tableaus, I swear. And Miss Kim Lip, she is the front runner for bias. Taking point and looking all kinds of noise. Okay. Ooh, nice little footwork for that transition to get huge enough point. She is the uh, front runner for bias wrecker. That was nice too. That was like mirroring each other, but it wasn't synchro, which kind of threw me off a bit. Was that hostile? Yeah, girl, looking all kinds of nice with that crop top. And this gin soul too. Oh my god, Eve. God, they look so good in their practice outfits. Jesus. Okay, who's? Okay, okay, okay. I was trying to find like the center, but that's not a traditional centered formation. That was a double diagonal where you had two centers, I guess, or two point women. So even that one girl with the reddish hair. <laughs> that bounce? <laughs> okay, I was not expecting a bounce right there. I thought they were just kind of like dropping going to like a Vogue plant, but. Okay, so. Jinsel, she's. I guess she's a rapper? I'm trying to like get an idea of uh, what her MV will be like. <laughs> yes! Okay, that was sexy. That was really sexy. Wow. Oh my god, Eve. Why? Oh, nice. You know, little blonde girl that's taking point right now, she's pretty good too. I didn't really notice her that much in Butterfly, but uh... Yeah, she's feeling it. This, just, this could be her jam. Yeah, she, this could be like her favorite song. It's usually how it goes. Like, when you have a favorite song in your set, like, you're gonna go extra hard. <laughs> Yes, God, I love the ones on the planks right there bouncing with it. Oh my God, this is this is a sexy little song right here. Oh my God, Eve, y'all kill me. And hustle, what are you? Now yeah, that crop top, girl. God damn, these girls are so good with their levels. Ooh, nice ladies. Okay. God, yeah, so great with their levels. Transitions are a bit slower than what I'm used to them doing, but it, it, it's for the song. Ooh, nice there, I like that little... Man, they're formations too, god. The benefit of having a bunch of dancers, is you can do some crazy cool formations. I mean, you gotta be good too, which they all are, so that's why they can pull it off. Oh, man. 
I'm just every single time, like. Oh, huge with them expressions, girl. God, all oh, nice. That was awesome. That was so freaking awesome, you guys. Jesus. I just want to get this one part coming up right here where they create a circle and do some sweet looking leg work. Yes. All right, so. I'm not necessarily going to break that piece down right there, but I will speak, you know, in general. These girls are so freaking good at their changes in levels. And if you guys have been watching my Lunar Reactions for a while, you know, I've constantly been praising them for that. So, you know, whether it's the micro transitions, so, you know, bending the knees, raising the hands up, to the more bigger movements where they are straight lifting someone up like they did in Butterfly to going on the ground and doing some sweet leg work right there. These girls take a concept so the idea the, the game plan for changes in levels is to draw you in as a viewer okay so the changes in lows and highs creates a tunnel effect for you so when you're watching like what's going on here the thing is these girls like they take they, they don't they don't make it simple okay they're not just like dropping they're not just kind of like raising their hands up there is some intricate pieces of choreo to that point okay so the journey you could say is quite a trip and then you know the end of it that cherry on top is when they hit you with that sweet move so like in butterfly it was lifting up that blonde girl um and then it was that drop into the hair whips and in this it was just that sweet looking leg work and you got my bias wrecker all right well candidate for bias wrecker she could be the bias hegen um taking center you know giving me them expressions and just man these girls these girls are talented okay like Props to the choreographer. I've been saying this, you know, every single time now. But props to the choreographer. And then, apparently, props to the girls, too, because y'all have been telling me that they contribute to the choreo, which is awesome. Okay, that is so freaking cool. I love talent, okay? That is some talent to be able to contribute to pieces of choreo that are among the best that I've seen, like, ever. Um, so, yeah, these girls are uh, three for three, batting a thousand. Um, Butterfly was the best piece of girl group choreo I have ever seen. Um, colors, loved it, okay? It was very upper body heavy um i'm sure that, i mean obviously that's by design and but it was so smooth it was so intricate like i expected considering how strong they were i expected that choreo to be even though you could say they were limited to uh, only being able to work with their upper half like it was still they, they they made the most of it okay they went that, that i'm still i still think about that that chori led hand cannon like that was oh my god that was like when i listen to that song when, when i'm driving to work like I, I, I picture her starting that cannon off and I'm just like, I can't wait to check out her solo MV. Like that girl, I can't wait. Um, and yeah, and this was just, God, this this was another very dynamic piece of choreo. A lot of great changes in levels, great shifts in tempo, and um, yeah, a treat. If I were to rank them, butterfly, number one, uh, satellite, number two, colors, number three. But I'll, I'll save a piece of choreo. So guys, that was the satellite dance practice. And uh, gotta say, great stuff. And honestly, at this point, I feel like I'm not that surprised. Like, I mean, just like, I expect excellence from them, I guess. Because, uh, I mean, honestly, when you, when my introduction to a group, you know, with Butterfly, is the best piece of girl group choreo I have ever seen in my entire life. Well, that sets the bar pretty high. And when you follow it up with Colors, which was outstanding, and now this, like, yeah, these girls are the future queens of choreo, okay? Like, they are the future queens of choreo. Like other groups the, that have a much longer body of work, you know, I'll, they they hold the crown right now. They 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 hold the crown, you know. So like, you could say, G friend. I, I look at G friend as the current generation's choreo queens because of that body of work. Like from debut to where they're at now, they have just been slaying it with the choreo. But that's the third gen. That's the current generation, third generation. I think the fourth generation, the one that got started last year with, you know, Luna and Idol and a few other groups, and, you know, it's following through with Itzy, I think once all said and done, the fourth generation choreo queens, these ladies right here, okay? Because they will continue to grow. Like, y'all are getting blown away. I'm getting blown away by what they're showing us right now. Like, the best choreo that I have seen a girl group do ever came out a year after their debut, okay? They're sophomores. They are sophomores in the industry. You give them two, three, four more years onto this, they are going to improve so much. They're going to improve so freaking much. And when they improve in their skills, the choreographer is going to be like, let's uh, let's ramp it up a bit. Let's let's give them choreo to match their skill. And they will match it because I just, from what I could tell, they got what it takes, okay? So once all said and done, 
you're going to be like, oh man, yeah, yeah, G Friend, they were killing it in the third gen. Who's who's the fourth generation's Choreo Queens? <laughs> Luna. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you so much for checking me out. Um, you know, uh, I absolutely love all the support y'all have been giving me since I started this this channel. And especially, yeah, you got your orbits out there. Y'all have been so, so cool, so engaging, and um, you, you really make me enjoy doing what I do, especially with the Luna stuff. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, if you like what you see, go ahead, uh, hit that like button. If you like some more, subscribe. If you have any opinions, comments, or concerns, uh, leave a comment down below, and I'll check it out. But yeah, thanks for checking me out, you guys, and I'll see you guys next week. Take it easy.